Hello Bloodstains, this is Season 12, Week 8, and this is your recap. I am Rob Top, and I'm here as usual with Matt. Hello Matt. Hello, I'm coming to you from a uh, remote broadcast location from a reasonably priced uh, chain hotel. Uh, and if you can hear some weird buzzing in the background, it's because I forgot the, uh, the cable to my microphone. So I'm using my laptop microphone, which is picking up the fan noise because it sounds like a... Uh, a rocket taking off because of its raw, raw power required for this this uh, streaming. Uh, so apologies for that. It'll be fixed next week. I'm getting I'm getting um, one of the the Yeti nanos that I'm going to be bringing with me for, for doing this remote thing. So you know, teething oh, troubles. Matt, Matt, we we all appreciate what you do. As I say, I, all I've got to do is get over from my couch and come and sit at the front of the uh, TV and a computer. Whereas you've got to do all the editing and ever, you're doing everything, okay? I think you're, I think you're, I think you're, I think you're, I think you're slightly <laughs> overstating it, but but I think what we need to do is we need to get on this fabulous, fabulous week eight of action that we've had. There's been some upsets. Yeah, there That's has, a- and and one big thing about it is some of the teams that could have qualified can't anymore. Me well, being we'll one co- of them. <laughs> well, we'll come, we'll come through to the ends because there's been, it's been a great week actually. There's been, um, let's let's start, let's start at the top, let's start in order. Um, I, I've taken to, um, I've stopped trying to use my phone. I now have a, a lovely little notepad. I'm waving at this, I'm waving this at the camera. You can't see it. Uh, you, you guys missed this by accidentally, rather than screen sharing, I was having my wonderful face transmitted to everyone before. You had to be spared that. Uh, but I've I've gone for the old school kind of notepad here. And um, yeah, I had I had this one as three one. You had it dead on the money two nil. Um, so uh, yeah, uh, we haven't seen the replay for this, but let's have a let's take a quick look at the teams. Let's take a quick look at the berserkers. Uh, Barry we, did well. I see Barry yesterday, and he was over the room against you know uh, with this game. It yeah. just all went his way basically. Two nil is good. Two nil is fine. Like, yeah. what we I think I think a lot of people underestimated like. I think we probably need to stick with Elf, Elf AI just to give that randomness moving yeah, forward. Yeah, definitely dark elves at least, maybe high elves. A bit yeah, I think we should not necessarily always have the same kind of elf, but I think, I think the AI handles elves a little bit better than it handles other teams just because of the AG4. Mm. Um, so yeah, uh, I don't know if we've had any. Do, do we have any big level yeah. ups? Guard on, go on, son. That was the uh, level up on, on this one. Okay, yeah, that's yeah, that's a great choice. That's a really strong berserker. Um, Blodge, mighty blow, guard, frenzy, jump up. What more do you need? Really, tackle, I guess, maybe. But like, guard, I think was the correct choice there for sure. One of the best skills in the game because it works works all the time. It works when your opponents are playing. It works when your teammates are hitting people. It's a great skill. We all yeah. know that. Yeah. yeah, and and well, we say the guard was on Gowansa, and he's still only ten away from um, from the next level up, and he's got that mighty blow, he's got that protection from block from Blodge. Um, yeah, I definitely, I'd, I'd be expecting a nice little because he's a bit low on tackle. That's one of the only potential issues with this team. I think Gowansa's just going to be a, an absolute murderer. Um, yeah. He already Friendly, is really might blow, got dodge, guard, <laughs> love jump up, jump Bloody up, lovely, yeah. <laughs> Knocking him down ain't enough. You having blocks on him outside outside of the blitz even. So yeah, absolutely. I mean, we talked about the berserkers a lot. They're just a really strong, lean team. Um, very lean actually, um, since they're down a player. But oh wait, no, they're not. I can't count. They're on exactly eleven. Um, and uh, yeah. There's, there's not really much else to say. We can have a quick look, uh, see how the, the lovely devil, deadly snakes are getting on. Uh, oh my god, they've been absolutely murked. What's yeah, happened? He, he killed two. What of them. happened? <laughs> there's only Just seven two. of them. What? And this wasn't even a bashy season, you know what I mean? <laughs> <sighs> maybe, well, maybe elves are not so good. <laughs> well, the, all the. It's like Banateel here is like the liston of um, the deadly snakes it's eating every MVP they get apparently, and um, yeah. yeah, I mean we can have a quick look at the um, the match actually. You know what? A bit I had a quick look at the uh, at the dice rolls and the 
um, SPP and stuff. And the first thing that stuck out to me is 86 blocks succeeded for the uh, Berserkers there. Well, they have blocks. All of them have yeah, blocks. But, but 86 is well high. Hmm. Like, wow. Yeah, and obviously you can see he's done three KOs, four injuries, and two kills. Nice. That's absolute murdering. Um, mm. Do you think the... Um, did the elves, like, clear some of their, like, injured players? Is that why they're down so low? Or they just... It's just... That's a lot of SPP. That's an extremely lot amount of SPP. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, he's done all right. Yeah, he's done all right. Look, look, um, look, look at those dice rolls, Go back. Yeah. That's actually... Ones. That's a lot. Oh, that's... 19, 30, Good. 60. Hey, that's look, about you... one in three. One in three dice were one for him. Hey, look, even, even if it's against the AI, if you can get that those dice odds... Well, actually, I suppose one thing to say, like, most of his dice wouldn't have been, like, D6s. They'll have, they'll have been block dice, right? So... Yeah. Um, so we'll look at the snakes. Maybe a lot of those ones were his own armor, armor rolls. <laughs> oh... <laughs> they might but they really should differentiate that out like i'm still yeah, yeah. i'll put my cards on the table i'm still not 100 percent sure how to interpret these screens properly other than seeing big numbers that jump out to me over here but um yeah let me just so the arm the armor rolls is um you're rolling your own armor so every time they break your armor you're rolling your own so wait hang on also like what 31 skulls and find a lot of blocks. They were. Fl I imagine most of those were the other side of a two dice block, but still, so you got that many SPP. The... You kind of got diced a little bit there. Um, <laughs> like that's that is a the the snakes had a significantly better dice distribution there. It still got absolutely killed. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, cool. So, well done, Barry. Well done, Barry. Well done, Barry. That was got to We said at the start of the season, a lot of it was like how much you could, how much SPP you get on snakes, and um, well, there you go. Um, yeah, so it sort of favours the teams that play them early in a way, but uh, yeah, somebody's got to play them later on. You can't, you know, it's all it's all done randomly, isn't it? Yeah. So um, yeah, next up, uh, it was Dreamsters versus the Headhunters. I think this is a top of the table clash. Um, was it? Yeah, I, I think, think it so. was. Yeah, yeah, um, two unbeaten teams. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we had uh, prediction-wise, um, we both had it at a draw. Uh, I had it two-two. You had it at one-one. Um, ended up being three-nil. Um, well, I don't think the result is necessarily um, representative. I think it should really elf elf BS happened. Um, like I think I think I think I probably deserved the win. I probably didn't deserve a three-nil win. Um, but uh, in terms of the uh, the kind of the setup to it, it was uh, 1790 Pro Elves versus 1260 Amazons. Uh, oh, 1260 Amazons uh, Raw. They were down to 10 players as a journey, journey player on top of that. Um, they took a uh, wizard's uh, helmet with his chainsaw and two bribes. Um, yeah, like absolutely terrifying um, suite of inducements. Yeah. yeah. Uh, no fame went out anywhere. Um, and yeah, uh, elves. Uh, elves started off. We were, we were given the offense. Um, Al was uh, was was definitely wanting us to start off uh, with the ball. Um, kept his chains off the pitch. To start off with expecting that quick score, uh, which right. made me hesitant. Which like absolutely good decision. Like there were a lot of good decisions. You know what? By Al. You know what? It, it, it's weird though because if he puts the chainsaw on, he's forcing you to score early. Then he can score. And then, and then half time, one all, and then he can try holding on to the ball for the two-one win. Mm. But as you say, not putting the chainsaw on, you might want to sort of slow it up and not have a chainsaw on the pitch for most of the game. So, how did you play it? Did you score? So, I, well, some stuff happened which I'm not particularly proud of. Um, and um, <laughs> so, so the elves pushed both sides, um, not really defending well enough, and yeah, just taking, uh, you know, able to take out the uh, the. You know the agi, um, the high agi, agi five player, uh, agi five catcher. Um, then I didn't get used to the three minute timer and basically left the ball 
on someone it shouldn't have been left on, and they immediately got fireballed, like early use of the wizard, correct choice of the wizards to punish that mistake. Um, mm-hmm. But um, I, also, I clicked, for, if you watch the replay, I clicked for that touchdown. I clicked the button on the end zone, it didn't recognize it. Um, and so, yeah, punished with a fireball. The fireball just didn't come out. Um, well, it did come out. Uh, they were able to kind of get the ball. Get it was it was it was it was a decent fireball. It wasn't like a critical one. They got the ball, threw it, and elf interception. Um, oh, again? I, 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 yeah, I, I absolutely should have been punished there. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna. Uh, 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 when I was speaking to Alistair, he was saying it wasn't with a catcher either. It was like a, a player in tackle zones. You needed a six, and you rolled a six. Is that right? I, it must have been if that was a thing. I was just so shocked. I didn't check at the time. Um, yeah, exactly. Um, and yeah, basically kind of went through and um, some Elvin BS happened. Uh, then we go, I didn't make a note in my notes. when That was turn three. So I did go for the quick score just because I knew the wizard was down. And I what I kind of was thinking at this point was I wanted to burn through the bribes in the first turn, in the first half. Because I knew the wizard were down, and I wanted to try and burn through as many bribes as possible and have a relatively open second half. That was what I was trying for. It ended up happening. I think that was actually the wrong call, but I ended up getting lucky and it it worked out for me. Um, Yeah, we start so... Yeah, so we're 1-0 up after turn three. Um, bribe, Bribe happens. Bribe gets used up on a standard foul. So that's one down already. I'm like, okay, all I've got to do is get one more down, and then it'll be off by half time. Uh, we start. We 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 go into um, you know uh, Amazon's ball, um, and start. So it happens. Uh, Rock takes out two players. My my tackle blitzer gets stunned. Uh, no. Very worried about the uh, yeah. boat. It was it was a both side rock as well. It was a rowdy rowdy crowd. Um, yeah, and um, yeah, the Amazons were passing to to, to sorry, everyone else. Uh, I've got a little um, got a little uh, example of what the Amazon. This is the Amazon turn five, and then the the, the, the pro alpha turn five here. So um, as you can see, oh, as you can see, we're we're down here. Uh, the elves have got the ball, and yep, yeah, chainsaw tries, chainsaw fails to penetrate armor. Um, re-rolls, double, double block here. You can see this already, Rob? Yeah, yeah. And, um, yeah, as you can see, the Amazon's moving down. Chainsaw's not doing anything. I've got a couple of catches up here. And, um, yeah, the elves, have, the elves have recovered the ball from um, uh, an Amazon player who had kind of was relying on being blodge and had just been able to get the ball taken off them just before here. Um and but the Amazons are, c- are covering well here. I've recovered the ball off, off one of theirs uh, and have been completely surrounded, as you can see. Uh, but, you know, the Agi 5 Blitzer just, can just run out. First thing you do, just run out. Just just, just run out, just two hand pluses. <laughs> just, hand, just hand it off and yeah. just, just get up there, just pass backwards. So pass backwards so it's actually recovered. If it, so it's um, screened if it fails and then, yeah. From, from there, the counter score was happening, and I was able to like move forward. Um, I love elves. I know everyone moans about plays like that, but yeah. well, it was it was the right it was the right decision. Like it was only oh, because totally, I wasn't actually totally, yeah yeah, yeah, yeah like wicked, <laughs> Al Al did not deserve to get beaten three 0 I'm straight up saying like I I got away with a lot of stuff that I shouldn't have got away with. Um, what, was it the movement? Was it, was the movement a killer? Because you know you you got what three movement eight one movement ten and whatever else you got two seven that's it's it, that certainly helped a lot uh, mostly it was the fact that um I'll, that like a bribe got used to keep someone on the pitch early on and that just meant that because of that second counter score that happens to happen because i happened to be able to get the ball off um it had, it had passed deep to like a blodger and i was and you know you need pals or like strip ball or something to get it off them and I was able to manage it just because, you know, blodge is great, but you can still take it off a blodger. And because I was able to and get that counter score, I was able to take out a lot of the, the inducement factor. And then you're basically in a raw TV differentiation differential for the second half. And that, yeah. that's basically what did it. Uh, and yeah, coming into the second half, um, 
yeah, it was. Uh, so, what was it? Two 0 at half time. Two 0 at half time. Um, and uh, that's what my notes are saying. I might have made a mistake there, but uh, yeah, and then it's like eleven elves versus ten zons. Uh, zons cage up, um, but uh, but good old Dave they Bowie. Had, they had chainsaw still, yeah. Uh, by this point, they'd they'd had no um, they'd, uh, they'd had no chainsaw. Uh, okay. And once again, Al was making really good decisions. Al didn't. Al got um, helmet sent off, even though he had a bribe left, because he knew it was only for two turns at the end of the okay. first half, and w- yeah. and wanted to um, keep the multiple foul threat from anywhere else on the pitch compared okay. to two turns of chainsaw. Which you know what? That's a that's a mature choice. I can respect that. Um, yeah. All right. And um, you know, make two turns of chainsaw versus multiple threats elsewhere when there's so many high value players on the other team. Sure. Um, and yeah, the Zon's caged, uh, but Dave, but you know, Dave Bowie was able to get through uh, and break and eventually counter score for three um, nil. A riot. I don't, like, I don't like totally not Dave Bowie. He's, he's a horrible player. He's tricksy. <laughs> he? He's the leaping guy, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. He's yeah. he's the agi four leaper. With with wrestling strip ball, um, I'm building it. I'm building it even. I'm building an AG5 one as well. And um, yeah, basically three 0 riot. Um, some nasty double skulls. A uh, bit of fouling backwards and forwards. And um, yeah, basically as soon as it was three 0 I kind of switched into um, defensive mode, just column defense, and um, just not just not letting through. Uh, Possibly yeah, basically just just pr- protection at that point. Uh, and and yeah, um, that was basically it. Yeah, it was it was three 0 It didn't deserve to be three 0 That interception was lucky. The fact I wasn't able to get Pow down on that exposed um, blodger, um, you know, was a thing. Uh, but yeah, I mean that's sometimes how it goes, you know. Um, looking at the statistics, um, ball was ball was out of ball was not in people's hands quite a lot, and. Um, Quite a few passes from both teams. You know, Al does like to pass. He's got those agi four players. Um, twenty three blocks, twenty six blocks. That's about like not not. Yeah. no. It's you know relatively. We we weren't beating each other up as much as people were expecting. Maybe um, decent amount of SPP for the like honestly a decent <laughs> amount of SPP for both teams really. But like um, like the Dreamsters were just getting quite a few vanity passes and such. Um, I find Elven Union are just SPP monsters. You know, they really are, aren't they? They just hammer the SPP every game, it seems. Mm-hmm. So I just took that chewing gum out because I just realised it might make a really no- not annoying sound on the recording. And yeah, so. Everything looks, uh, everything looks pretty decent there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And, um, yeah, but like. The, the, if you go back to yours, so look, he's broke your. Uh, he's had. What's that? 19 and 14 is 33. So he's tried breaking your armor 33 times. A lot of those were fouls. He was really going heavy for the fouls. Good call. Uh, Yeah, 14 of them wasn't uh, broken armor. And then he Mm. broke your armor 19 times. Bloody. And nothing happened to you. (laughs) That's the crucial uh, part of this game. Badly hurt was the worst I got. One badly hurt, I think. Um, Yeah, well, lucky. mm, Absolutely. Like, I got lucky here. Not in the traditional dicing sense, but just a lot of small things went right mm. at critical times. You would have thought something bad would happen to you. He would absolutely would have. Like, I'm surprised Dave's still here, to be honest. Um, <laughs> was he getting picked on, was he? <laughs> I was being a bit reckless with him, to be honest. Um, <laughs> and, yeah, there we are. Yeah, heading back out into the teams. We have got um, Headhunters here. Uh, in terms of level ups, I'll just flip back to the earlier page on here. Um, I don't think we have. Queen of the Stars got tackle. Yeah? Yeah, number eight. Okay. Uh, not number eight, number four, sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Another so tackler. Five tackle on that team now. Yeah, that's going to be fun come the playoffs. And um, mm. yeah, in terms of the Dreamsters, as you said, Badly Hurt was the worst we got. Um, dodge and alignment. Fair enough. Yeah. I've tried one. I'm not sure whether I want them with wrestle or dodge. So I've tried. I'm not sure what's better to start with. So I'm just trying out both variants. Um, Good team, uh, man. 
I like, nah. I like your team. They're, they're not going to stay like this for long. I'm, I'm really, really having bad things happening. I, I can imagine bad things happening to them. It's Armour 7. I was talking to Phil about it the other day, and it's just every game you're expecting to lose a player. Mm-hmm. And just some of them games are going to be good players, some of them are going to be bad players, you know. Mm. But every time you play them, you just think, oh, who's going to die today? Oh, yeah. But, Especially when a chainsaw's involved. It's very <laughs> scary. I don't like it. Um, but yeah, uh, you had a chance to watch this match. It looked like it was a really interesting one. This was a really good, entertaining game. It really was. Um, both coaches played really well. Um, let's get to the white page. Yeah, so, uh, inducement wise, Callum takes two babes, uh, two apothecaries, and a wizard. So, he's obviously. Protect, protection mode, which mm-hmm. you know, fair play, no problem. So the elves kick to the orcs. Um, nice deep kick over like on the sideline, quite far back. And um, uh, sorry, excuse me. <coughs> um, uh, Liam gets a couple of orcs back and gets the thrower uh, over onto the ball. But Callum, being Callum, you know, he manages to break through the defence and get his um, uh, blitzers. Like standing next to the ball carrier, the uh, the blood steppers could just causing him problems. He can't knock them down. Just apparently mm. like sidestepping and being a being a real pain. Um, it does manage to break away and uh, uh, get a get a touchdown. Um, it it does well to get away. Mm. Uh, the the wizard for Callum KOs the troll and the troll was out. For the rest of the game, <laughs> so that sort of worked out well. Was that from fireball? Um, or was that from the ball? It was a fireball, I believe. Mm. Yeah. Um, Orcs turn on. Uh, Orcs score on turn six, which um, I thought he could have just tried hanging it out one more turn, but I don't know. Maybe he was a bit worried because they were on his case, those elves, and they were being a pain. Was the wizard up or down at that point? Uh, the wizard gone by that point. Okay, but it's just you know you're playing against you know a team that can do two turn touchdowns no problem, and the elves just equalised turn seven just no problem at all. Mm. Um, so in the second half, uh, the orcs kick to the elves and it, and it starts to rain. Uh, the elves actually fail to pick up the ball, and the orcs get uh, two tackle zones onto the ball, which was quite nice. But the elves just blitz a black orc get mm. onto the ball. It scatters. On to uh, Gacy, <laughs> who's, uh, who's uh, Liam's killer, but he fails to catch it on a five plus. And it's one of them things where, like, would you have re-rolled that, you know? Because I thought, I thought it was a bit of a game-changing moment there. Well, I've would got the... Uh, I've got the... Um, uh, I don't... Mm, because the blitz is how... gone, so, you know, if he does mm. catch it, he's going to keep hold of that ball. Maybe. Um, I've got the highlights up for uh, 10 and 13, by the way. So let me yeah, so this is the next move, actually. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah so let's bring it up. Uh, <laughs> my note just says Callum takes the piss. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> so, yeah, we've got this blitz coming back in. Oh, this is it. Oh, right. Yeah, this is the turn. So I just, rem- I just it, it reminded me of what you were just saying. I thought, I'm pretty sure I've seen that before. But yeah, yeah. So there we go. Yeah, There's would, the. Yeah, would you have evolved that? Oh, I'm not sure. I don't know if I would have, would have. I'll... But it's just awesome play from Callum here. In the rain. <laughs> That's strong arm. Yeah, just don't, don't worry about it. In don't worry about it. Own, in the don't rain. Don't worry about it. There right we go. The whole, oh, the entire right pitch. Off the entire pitch. Oh, the entire pitch. <laughs> Like, God, oh, I'm an elf player, that. and that's just bad. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. Callum, man, honestly, just good play, just good play. Just, it's just elf, yeah. elves, just elves do elf things. Yeah, Callum's scary with elf coach. He really is. He's just he, he always makes sure he's got a scoring threat. He don't mind rolling in dice. You know, it's just. Four pluses ain't that hard. I don't know what that throw was. Was that a five plus throw or four? That was rare. That was a, that was a long bomb with um, strong arm and an agi four. So that might be four actually. Yeah. With yeah, the rain doesn't affect the throw, does it? So it's just the catch it effects. Yeah. So. So yeah, what happened? Four. four I think it's four. Two. 
four, yeah, four plus. So yeah. it doesn't seem that hard, does it? <laughs> Seventy-five um, percent of a reroll. Don't need to save the reroll for the catch if you're prone to a catch. Yeah, so easy, just easy. <laughs> um, so that puts him two one up. Um, Orcs have seven turns to score after that, uh, and what happens? Licks kick off. <laughs> hmm. so, uh, so yeah, it just puts Liam under massive pressure. You can imagine just two one down, then all of a sudden all L's all over you. But Donald Trump does get uh, get under the ball straight away. Um, but before it lands, the blitzer comes on, just pushes him out of the way, catches the ball himself. <laughs> just <laughs> they're so infuriating playing them. But the black court does well. The black court blitzes the ball carrier, and powers him. Um, uh, the ball scatters away, and just it's good. Um, elves do actually have some more nice play. Did you have another clip? Yeah, I have another clip or? on the elven turn thirteen there. Yeah, so this is a. Uh, just after the black court blitzes. Yeah, and, and followed up. And is relatively see the 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 blitzer did follow up because I saw the turn before this and followed up to go in base to base contact, even though it was only a push. I'm not sure if I would have kept him not following up and kept him in 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 here. But like uh we'll see how this pans out. Uh, and also the fact that when I was recording this, I forgot to right-click, so we get to see Pepe the Orc and Ivan for far too much of this replay than we probably should. But this is a really, really nice series of chain pushes, just chain play. It really is. Um, nice way to get the assist in it. Got the assist in. Dub skull. And then you hit what you need. Like maybe if he had been held back, you would have got the blitz in without even needing it, so maybe I'm wrong about that. But then, you know... It's hard to foresee what's coming, isn't it? Yeah, I know, but then just catch us. Just catch us. And... Yeah, scatters um, the right way. Scatters the right way. And then we're just, you know, shoring things up uh, until we fail the dodge. Honk. Um, yeah, it's... Um, Liam manages to get the ball back um, and, and equalise on turn 16. It was, honestly, a really entertaining game. Uh, one of my notes at the bottom, Orcs didn't break armor much but mm. I think that was like what Callum needed was just no, not Callum Liam needed was to break Callum's armor mm. um, 59 blocks but uh, yeah he could have he, if he'd have broke more armor I think it uh, what was the predictions I think I predicted oh yeah. yes um, you predicted um, let me go back this was the uh third match we've discussed uh you predicted 1-1 one, one. i predicted uh 3-2 to two the l's ah okay so yeah and and same game liam's yeah. really stepping it up we've been saying this oh, week yeah. after week and uh callum's just doing callum stuff which is hard mm. to defend against yeah we'll see, we'll see what's happening with the, with the top four um when we get to the end of the thing so statistics are pretty much like 62% ball possession for the Orcs, 18% of ball possession. If, when you only need to hold the ball for a turn to counter score from, what was that, six squares, five squares from your own end zone into a score, counter score that turn, you only need 18% possession of the ball. Yeah, you um, can't defend against it. <laughs> it's, you know, um, the, only the only ball possession that matters is when you're holding it in your opponent's touchdowns there, right? So, um there we go. Uh, SPP wise, he holds it for long, does he? He, no. he holds it, throws it, hands it off. Yeah. SPP, not mega, but still not, nice. Still, well, actually, it's not bad. Like, it's still pretty decent. Like, an additional like eight to ten on top of your MVP isn't bad. It's just we've seen some just some just such high SPP matches. It, 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 let's not take away from the fact this was decently scoring um, a match. Mm. Um, Dice wise, yeah, it's more or less. More or less. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's, what, that's what you're going to be looking for. Um, uh, any interesting level ups? Um, uh, what do we get here? I uh, don't think either of them got anything. It's a good looking team still. Still a great looking team. Yeah, neither of them leveled any players up. Okay. Um, so uh, we do not have a huge amount to add since last time. No major injuries going in strong for the last uh, last game of the season. He just needs a dirty player on that old team. I think we said that lot. 
and yeah, and jump up on this catcher, pass block, jump up. Mm-hmm. He, he had that last week, yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah, it's, 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 it's building. It's building. Um, yeah. You've got that strong arm that you want. You've, you've, you've He's a threat. I know it doesn't look mega, but he is a threat. There's that TV difference as well. That wizard, that wizard turns things around. Um, yeah, back to the schedule. So, so I've got some notes here, actually, uh, Rob. Um, mm-hmm. So I predicted this was going to be... A, you predicted it was going to be a 1-0 victory for the Looney Tunes. Uh, I predicted it was going to be a 2-1 victory... Uh, for the mash because i said the mash i thought the mash were deserved of a victory i've got some notes here for some kind of incredulousness on your behalf that, that i thought that um i thought the humans were going to win this one and um oh, <laughs> oh look at that i was playing mind games with uh with uh chris you see that's what was happening okay. disease. all right and, uh, <laughs> yeah um goblins you know you, i love them they're great and when they're killing people, they're great. They're fantastic. Um, they kill themselves quite a lot as well. They do. Which doesn't yeah, which doesn't help too much. Um, but he played really well actually. Uh, Chris is quite familiar with how goblins work, which I didn't really take into account. Um, which I didn't also take into account was if I put the ball and chain on the line, um, he could actually get like dice on him, no problem at all with the ogre and the other mm. players. So I really slipped up. I wasn't on the A game at all. We did. I think we kicked off at about half eleven at night, twelve o'clock at night. Which was oh, a late game. I don't like them. Yeah. Well, it was like sort of me that was sort of pushing for the late game. I really wanted to play him, and Chris come back home from work all nice and like bang on it. You know, it was probably like two o'clock in the afternoon for him. But I'm not making any excuses here. Now, Chris played really well. Chris did play very, very. Told well. you it was he did. He did make one glaring error though, because during the game he was waiting at the back with him with his uh, thrower that's got Hail Mary pass. And when I mean the back, he was waiting in his own touchdown area. And he did on one of the turns he did something where um, he got a turnover really quick and it oh. managed to actually get some players like basing him up to the goblins and. Uh, or maybe no he was already based up that was it and he did something that was a turnover really quick mm. and I just managed to surf his throw off the pitch oh but, dear yeah it, it didn't end too badly for him but um, have you got a clip uh, I have I've got a couple of clips I've got I've got turn one and uh, Chris's this, turn this, one yeah. this is Chris's turn one yeah because yeah, just me setting up badly on the line and and he just exploits it really well so yeah, just, just knock that back. Guess a good choice of sidestep as well. Um, just blocks you off from being able to get through. Push that, push that uh, troll back. This is what you were saying. I remember, I remember seeing this at the time, and going, yeah, followed up. And I think those must have guard those two ones that he's just blocked with there, right? Yeah. And then, um, yeah, yeah, and the ogres just like see ya. Yeah, he's star, star player. What's star player? What's a star player? No, injured. Oh yeah, what's a star player? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I've really messed up again with my block bribes as well. I talk. But uh, the very next turn, um, I come in and try blitzing one of his guys. I can't remember if it works or not. But then he just hammers me back and gets the. Um, I do like this little go round and basically pitch. bombardier the back there as well. That was quite nice. Yeah, he played all right. Oh yeah, look at the ball at the back here with the with the thrower. And I think he moves back even more. Well, he, he maybe on the next turn he actually moves back into the touchdown area. So just teasing me with that uh, helmet pass, which he didn't mm. do all game. I think I think now he's a bit disappointed with himself for that. But overall, Chris, he played he played really good. I like it. Um, when it comes to when it comes to um, he scored on. Oh, have you got another clip of his? Touchdown? Yeah, I've got t- I've got turn seven yeah, here yeah, as well. Yeah. Let's, get, let's get to that. Yeah. Because his touchdown was really nice. I liked it. Uh, Starts off, as all good touchdown attempts do, with an immediate go for it fail. <laughs> also, I've, cha- <laughs> I've changed for the replays to the, the dice rather than the percentages. I just think it's a little bit neater. Um, he needed the second go for it to make it a five plus pass. Nails it, um, but. Yeah. Straight in there. Cheers, Chris. Thanks for that. <laughs> he actually ran with two go for it and. Yeah, I'm just yeah, going to leave the celebrations up here just for a little bit. Yeah, it's all good. 
Yeah, I knew it was game over then. Mm. And then, um, yeah, he, so he's, I, I, I really thought I was going to stop him scoring, actually, because I did have the ball sort of surrounded by uh, uh, goblins, and I just I didn't think he was going to be able to get it. But he did, he managed to get it and do that touchdown. So it's turn seven, my um, ball and chains off the pitch, and I used the bribe because I wanted to obviously have the chainsaw on the pitch for the second half. Mm-hmm. I used the bribe on the bomber by accident. Oh, that was an error. <laughs> so, I know. <laughs> I've done that twice this season. Um, so, yeah, I've used it on the bomber, and then I thought to myself, oh, I'm not, you know, I'm, if I use the next bribe on my chainsaw guy, then I'm going to have no no special weapon in the second half. So I decided not to um, use the second bribe on the chainsaw, and the bomber's just crap. He just, I don't know. <laughs> I'm it's the most the variable. I, don't, I wouldn't. It's the most variable, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I might get. I might ditch the bomber and just not have one and just save the birds. And it'll stop. You've, doing that you've got one thing. though. Like you've got one. I think. I think. I think it's fine to have him, but you just need to. You just need to be aware of. Their names. <laughs> you need to be aware of their names. Yeah. Like. <laughs> Well, who's the Looney Tune does a lot of bombs? Is it Wiley Coyote? He does a lot of bombs, uh, doesn't he? Yeah, no, he is my bomber, Wiley Coyote, yeah. Well, ah! <laughs> oh, I should know. You, you know, should know! Well, before, before the actual somebody scores, if I think it's going to be a touchdown, I should actually look at my bench and who's there and stuff, because when the bribes come up, you don't actually get a chance to do much. It's just, do you want to use the bribe or not? So you can't go looking over and seeing who's available and who's not. And, mm. you know, so you just got to make that decision. You have got to keep that mental. Like I think that, like I think that I think there are times for a goblin team when you know the next drive is going to be six turns long, right? Yeah. Sometimes I think if you have the bomber on for that point, it's fine. Like you just put them. You, you won't necessarily have hail mary pass, right? But you can. You can place them in such a way that they're just chucking bombs every turn. I think that's fine. Like, it's not as good as having, like, you know, a high off throw or a pro of catcher, but I think it's fine, more or less, right? So, um... Yeah, the, trouble is, the trouble is when you play elves, they can fight back at you, or fight at your best men. <laughs> yeah. Well, you can it's throw like, it to the floor, right? Uh, you got just right in front of you. Yeah, I'm, so can you, you can fight you right throw... in front of the elves so they can't yeah. intercept it. Yeah. Um, Because even a quick throw is a four plus with the bomber. So he's a bit. He's killed him. He's killed himself or killed his own players more than he's hurt us this season. Let's put it that way. Mm. Yeah. Real liability. But yeah, overall, going back to the game. Yeah. Chris deserved the win. Out and out. Mm. Totally deserved the win. And um, played really well. So well done, Chris. So. Yeah. So look at the let's look at the stats. That that's you did not have that ball. You did not have that ball. Um, uh, SPP wise, you know what? That's that's a decent amount of SPP for Mesh as well. That's respectable. That's that's eleven on top of the um, on top of your MVP. And you've, done, you've to be honest, you've not done too badly there for Goblins. A couple of injuries, sure. Or is that power? Is that two passes for someone? Um, I think that's a casualty and. Ed, the screen's a bit glitchy. I can't see what the uh, figures are. Oh, two, uh, five, two. five, five, five. So it's five for Pepe, two for Foghorn, two for Porky. Okay. Uh, Pepe must have got the man of the match. Um, yeah. I, I know Foghorn levelled up. Yeah. I'm just looking at the dice here as well, and we're just basically seeing some pretty standard distributions. I'm going to pretend. Nothing I, untoward, was there? Nothing really. No, like some slight leans one way or the other. Um, but yeah, sounds, Chris, sounds like if I was to give Chris a tip, and it's like you've got to stop using your loner guy. You really have. You got to start doing other stuff before just ploughing him with your loner guy because <laughs> they're just too unreliable. You know, do do your important moves of this each week, but he so he gets so carried away with the strength five mighty blow guy that uh, he's the fawn in Chris's side. Just, hmm. just, Stop doing it. Just do your stuff and then hit. So, yeah, any interesting um, levels up for the for just, for the uh, for yourself? There? Just my troll. I'll give him juggernaut. I wasn't sure. Yeah, you I didn't bl- do you blitz a lot of him, him or? Well, I didn't want to give him a strong arm because I don't throw the goblin. Yeah. Um, guard, I thought. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. 
And I thought if I give him break tackle, which was maybe I should have given him break tackle. But I just thought if I um, if I uh, have do, you know, do you know what I, I would have done? Pizza. Go on. I'd have. You've got two big guys there. Yeah. I'd have been tempted to go with piling on. Oh right, yeah, good shell. I didn't even think of piling on. Yeah, just, to have, just to have, just to have like that that big threat, because you've still got your other big, you've got your yeah, but um, but Chukador, you know, you, you've you've got a, you've got a dedicated blitzer now, um, who is going to be succeeding on a two plus if you've got someone next to him, which you probably will. Um, Generally, I blitz with a chainsaw, but you know, you know how it works. We've got well, you you've got that foul option of a chainsaw as well, right? So, and also the chainsaw's not there all the time, so that's it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, no, I've enjoyed them. I've really enjoyed them, actually. Loved them. God, it's that terrifying. And Chris has chose well for his level up, actually. He's yeah, what did he go for? Game. He's looked at his next game, number four. Father. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah. Um, he's got Ogres next. So he's got the Oh, yeah. you do, I do like a little bit of scouting. You know me, I yeah. love a little bit of scouting. And um, yeah, that's cool. All right. Um, yeah, next up uh, was the last match there, Punching Posse versus the Blood Curdling Screamers. Uh, we both had a look at this, um, but considering you just, uh, I'll give your voice a little bit of a rest here. Um, so, shockingly, shockingly, the Ogres were the over TV team here for once at 1370 uh, versus the Vampires at 1100. Um, obviously, uh, I don't know if you've been you've been keeping up on stuff today, but. Um, yeah. The um, disposable skill is not in on uh, Noblars yet, so uh, Ogres were on the high TV here. And, um, yeah, but this is being recorded the day that the, the new Ogre rules kind of came out or was somewhat released. Uh, did, did you have a chance to see, see any of those, Rob? Uh, yeah, I've seen the new skills, and they're quite interesting. I like the yeah. fact that Snotlins don't get uh, put towards the TV anymore, which is yeah. really good. Yeah. I'm not not so keen on the kicking the snotlin as a blitz. I don't think that's. I think you, I think it's going to be really hard not to kill your own player by kicking them. But I suppose that's. How well, you can choose be. not to. If you do, if you do a, if you do a short kick, there's no risk of killing them. Um, oh, from the initial right. kick. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You can choose I to do. You can choose to. I, I had to look it up because um, Grack and Crumbly probably are usually banned in tournaments. So. Uh, I've not had a chance to look at the rules, but if you choose to do a short kick, where it's because you only kill them when it's a, on, when, it's, when it's a double, um, and you can choose to only roll one dice, so you can make it so there's no risk of, of that. They can still like crash land, but um, yeah, I was anyway. going to say the landings are different. If you kick them really far, the landings are yeah, yeah, you get negatives yeah, to it. Uh, yeah, I think it's like a five and a six, and yeah, it's, it's hard to land them. <laughs> but go and carry on. But yeah, so just a, just a little bit of uh, meta commentary, just to potentially date us for when we're looking at this. Uh, old, old... What, what do you think of generally games work doing all this and just changing the rules for all the players? Because it seems that like they're trying to even all the teams up to me, which isn't. I can. Easily done. I can see as as a quicker side. Uh, I can see wanting to have. I can see them wanting to not have teams that have only got two player types. I can see wanting to have a little bit more to it than just that. But um, yeah, okay. Uh, just, just, are they, just. Are the ogres that have got kick? Are they specialist ogres or can? There's only one. You get one. You get five normal ogres oh, and one kicker. Oh right. Oh, I see. Okay. So it's a positional. I have zero problem with having an ogre position. I think that's quite cool. Um, like in terms of lore, at least. Um, but yeah, in terms of those are the new ogres. What we have here are old ogres uh, who went in with a TV up and came out with a fame plus one. Um, and yeah, uh, the ogres started with the kick. And yeah, Ken, uh, Ken, Ken took what? He took chainsaw two, two babes. Took chainsaw on two babes, wand- yeah, yeah. And a wandering apothecary. Oh, okay. Oh, I missed the wandering apothecary, but yeah, that's cool. Um, and. Yeah, so the ogres kicked. There was immediately a riot. Um, and, you know, the chainsaw's there, getting ready. First roll of the game. He chainsaws chainsaw himself in the head. Line. Yeah, he put it on the line of scrimmage, didn't he? Yeah, yeah immediately stuns himself. Basically, 
I really it's the first yeah. thing Ken did, wasn't it? <laughs> first thing, first thing. Kill himself, I was right? so <laughs> tempted. I was so tempted to lead this to lead this in by tapping the replay of here's the turn one and it just being a me. I didn't want to I didn't want that to do that to you though, Ken. I thought that would be a bit harsh. <laughs> I nearly did. And um so basically also I appreciate guys um you know, it takes a bit of time to do these replays, so I really appreciate the fact that there were so many early turnovers just all the way through this match. It made it quite <laughs> quick to replay. Um, uh, sorry, that's, that sounds quite... So, uh, well, I'm, so It's Ogres versus Vampires. There are a lot of turnovers. There are a lot of turnovers. <laughs> and basically, the first part of this match, um, it took until turn four for somebody to pick up the ball, and... <laughs> Um, and that's not a disrespect to, to the players at all. Sometimes only, uh, matches just go like that. Half, half the players were, were actually moving. The other half didn't get a chance because of the turnovers. It was yeah, just, and it's, it's just like, and it, yeah, it was just it was just like one fail loner turnover. There's nothing you can do about it. I don't think it's wrong to start the chainsaw on the line of scrimmage when you're kicking off first, either. Especially, you know. Yeah, there's nothing you can do about it, and so I, I, I did feel, I especially felt for Ken with, with the dice. Yeah, it was. <laughs> what, what cracked me up was it was the fact that it has a riot, so he lost a turn. Yeah. Um, because he's got a chainsaw and no bribe, yeah. So he lost a turn there, yeah. and then his chainsaw stuns himself straight yeah. away. So he loses the turn there. Next turn he's still stunned, isn't he? Yeah. And then, and then as soon as he doesn't, he comes unstunned again. First, he immediately he stuns himself again. <laughs> Oh. The first thing he does in the turn, <laughs> and then when he comes unstunned, and I don't um, even think it was necessarily a bad call to, to. Well, you know, you move your players first and you stand your people up. But like I, you know, it's just. I love uh, the way he comes unstunned and then Phil fouls him, stuns him. So <laughs> the the chainsaw absolutely did nothing the whole time he was on the pitch. He no, was on the pitch for the whole half and did nothing. <laughs> and then, and then. Literally five, literally on turn five, after the after the chainsaw stuns himself, lit, like three three ogres bonehead in a row. Yeah. So like yeah, there's the no moment. there's no there's no tackle zones, and the vampires just <laughs> like this probably should have been one one because the vampires just run through they, this, they they've got it, and I'm I'm convinced they're going to score. I really was. And um, the ogres were just able to get through, get get the ball, get the ball off him. Um, all all it's all it's got to be is like you know they get they get the vampire down, but they don't penetrate armor. Um, some really good hit, no use. Um, I've got a note here. There was, I, I should have should have taken a um, uh, kind of a clip of this, but there was a point where. Um, there was an ogre pinning a thrall onto the side of the pitch, like right on the mm-hmm. sidelines. Yeah. And there was a really nice hypnotic gaze use to free him up, and so the thrall could run down. I thought that was really good, Ken. I thought that was a really good move. And um, then, yeah, basically, it's just it's just a two plus pickup, just a two plus pickup, and you scored. No, <laughs> no, it didn't happen. Oh, I know. Oh uh, no, it's just uh, and. Yeah, then at that point the ball just gets surrounded. No, actually, I don't. I, then it's the case that the vampire then gets KO'd, so it's just nowhere near it, and <laughs> the balls are surrounded. We go into nil nil at half time. It's just like I felt for you so bad, especially as it's like eight eight people on the vampire teams versus eleven ogres, and then a blizzard starts, and then a touchback happens, and it's like okay, well I guess I'll give the ball to this ogre. It's like okay, cool. Um, it was I'm given to the. He gave the ball to the sure hands over. Yeah, I was a little surprised by that. I would have yeah, probably. Thought... Well, Liston was on the line, right? So maybe you don't want to have um, your person that's on the line. But there was a couple of, I, maybe a couple of the people who were a bit close to the front. But I was thinking, ah, well, if you give it, you, you're going to have to move your. It's in your head that you're moving your sure hands person forward anyway, right? Yeah. So. You want a cage. You've got hypnotic gaze. You want to have you want to have some degree of defence there. So let's just stick with you know you've got the mat you've got the player advantage. Let's just stick with the original plan. Um, yeah. So I can I, I've come around a little. I still think I probably would I would have been tempted to use my blitzes and get it on Liston, but and like try and free him up yeah, with some other stuff. Play. But or like maybe I, get it on one of the break tackle guys. Yeah, 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 that's a good shout actually. 
Um, obviously, listing with with black tackle and block, but then again, you I maybe don't want to. Like, I, I think that was what you when you said it. You had a plan. You might as well stick to the plan. That's really yeah. good because I've had it where like you know something else happens and your plan goes out the window. Before you know it, you're just your your turn is up in the air. Yeah, yeah. I, I can because you know right? it's a it's you know it's a seventy. You've got your hands on the ogre. They're agility two. It's a seventy five percent chance to pick up the ball wherever the ball might land and that's what you're based on and it could be further back it could be further forward uh so going like hey you know what 100 percent chance and he's definitely where i know he's gonna be you know what i've i think that's all right actually i've come around on that i was a little bit around it before i've come around fully on that for foot now actually i think that's all right and um yeah uh it's a blizzard at this point as well because why wouldn't it start snowing it's just that kind of match and um yeah, the ogres at this point just start doing damage, like KOs and injuries. We're down to the point where it's just there's only two thralls left. One of them stunned. It's just like, oh dear, oh dear. Um, the ogres make a flank push uh, to mark. Uh, you know, they're marking the vamps um, because it's that kind of match. Why not have a double bonehead at this point? Why not? And um, yeah. Um, you know the the vampire the vampire gets it is very is very marked. The ogre must make a game attempt um, to kind of recover it from from the uh, 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 there's some real pressure um, to kind of yeah. to free a the ball. Sorry, sorry. Yeah, yeah. Sacked. No. The vamp side. I got a bit confused. The vampires were making a really, 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 really game attempt to stop this. Um, to stop this touchdown. Like, they very nearly stopped it. They got the ball off the ogre. They got it down. Um, uh, they put some real, real pressure. Um, and, well, let's just let's just, let's just just see what happens. Um, as you can see, it's a pretty... Let's, let's, let's push this, uh, this throw around a little bit free up some tackle zones on the ball this is a really nice piece of just block positioning here like of what blocks need to be made like a little block here of this thrall push back still in contact with your sure hands person um let's move a let's move a snotling round though we've got this snotling here that is still only a push only need a push freeze up you you freeze up you only have one person left but it's a sure hands guy and you can just go and pick it up. That was a really, really, really nice piece of planning there. Um, you've got one turn left. You don't need to push it. Um, yeah, that yeah, was just the re -roll really, as well. Yeah, it's really just in good. case he bonehead. Just in case. Really, really just nice play there. Love it. Um, and yeah, that's yeah. And from there they just score. Like Ogre gets the ball. It's tricky to get it off. Um, statistics wise, um, yeah, like. No one had the ball for most of this match, <laughs> um, and um, it wasn't mega violent. There weren't loads and loads of blocks. No, it wasn't mega mega violent because most of the turns ended before anyone could do anything. Oh, yeah. And um, and once again, I, I'm laughing at this. This is a good match to watch. This is absolutely. This is just Nuffle deciding to have some fun. This is not a comment on any of the player, any of the coaches that are involved here. This was just Nuffle having fun, and um, yeah. A decent because amount of those, cha those chainsaws that um, Ken failed right at the beginning, he did re-roll both of those and he failed the loan rolls in both of them. Oh, I feel <laughs> for you. I feel Honestly. for you so much. Oh, you did deserve, you deserve to get a point. I'll, I'll be, you deserve to get a point there. Phil, you know, sorry, buddy. Phil, like Ken, deserved to get a point there. He was very unfortunate not to get it. And, um, yeah, like some decent... Um, SPP for he did for nice. he hasn't had many snotlings get these star players has he no this, going to the yeah it's good um, well we talked before about like the, the good use of skills and stuff uh, oh yeah sorry to talk about the um, the predictions um, you put it at two, we both we both put it at 2-1 so we got we got the score difference right we got the uh, the spread that's what they call it in American football is it oh uh, we got the spread mm. right and um, but yeah yeah uh, you know, it's more or less what you're expecting for a little bit um, for for the ogres, a little bit skull heavy. Um, streamers just not really getting much done there. Um, 
it's just it is what it is. Um, we'll go through to the teams. Uh, I the posse. I don't think there were many level ups. Is that right? Uh, I don't think there were any level ups for for the ogres. So we're still just sitting on this kind of like. Um, let's not bother replacing any of our dead noblars and just have all the SPP going on. You know, we've got a couple of level twos now. Yeah. They're good. It's any, just good. Do you reckon it'd be all right next season with them? Do you reckon he's going to... Yeah. Be pretty good? Yeah. <laughs> because those stand firm ones, you know, when they're standing there holding you against that um, uh, sideline, you yeah, you, you need you, you need some. Like, you can't do anything other than the hypnotic gaze. That's why I was just like, that's why it's like, Ken, I see you. That was a good play. You absolutely nailed that that hip, hip, hypnotic gaze. Um, and yeah, the screamers. Um, you know, it's still basically a similar situation. Uh, we've got some injuries on some thralls, but um, we've got had a level up, but he's not used it yet for a standard. Um, Assuming a standard level up, where, where would you go on this one? Would you go for another? I, I might go for kick. Know. I'd go for kick, no. actually. He's not got I've a kicker got a yet. I've got a feeling he's not going to use him next season. He might do. I haven't seen Ken. Yeah. But I would just go dirty player and just try to be an arse. Oh, no, he's playing the AI next week. So, oh. uh, yeah, I don't know. Just, We're rooting for you. Know. Get Like, crush him. 4-0. Crush him. Yeah. We'll get to the predictions. Yeah. I believe in you. Get the first uh, win of the season. You've got to beat them. And, um, yeah, speaking of which, we should probably head on over to the... Uh, yeah, we've been going for for a little bit of time. Um, we should head over to the next week's schedule. Um, yeah, Deadly Stakes versus the Blood Curdling Streamers. 4-0 to the Screamers. 4-0 is what I say. 4-0. Nice. I'm going to go 2-0. Okay. 1-1-1. Uh, half. Half. Fair enough. Uh, PDP versus MASH going to be interesting yeah, what's the TVs gorgeous. on this what's the TVs because I always do this I always forget to check the TVs and I make a bold statement and I somehow fluke it to a victory making it look like I'm much smarter than I am um, so we're at 1200 versus oh it's behind again uh, Phil's going to have again. two Phil's probably going to have two snotlings so no, no thought we can't top that. yeah you know what I, I think Chris is going to I think Chris is going to ride it out. I'm going to go. Um, I'm going to go. I'm going to go two one to the mash. I'll go. I'll go two nil to the ogres. Fair enough. Two nil to the ogres. Okay. Right. This next one's an easy call. This is one nil to the goblins and one very beaten up elf team. Oh, I've God. got a full squad. I've got. I'm so happy. Money. I'm so I've happy. Got, I'm so oh, happy. Callum, you need to be running away from me next week because it's my last game. I haven't qualified. I'm going out for the kills, man. You're in trouble. Right. I'm gonna. I'm gonna call this a three-one victory to the elves. But it is the most pyrrhic of pyrrhic victories. Um, I think. I think it's. I think they'll score, but it'll be like it'll be like the end of like um, Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, where they're just there's like two elves left. And he's just thrown to another one. It's like, oh. um, please, and please send me please send me messages of any uh, elves that you want killed this week. Come in, and I'll do my best to help you. All right, out. just name name them, and I'll go for. It. Yeah, and um, <laughs> next up we've got uh, the Ripper versus the Headhunters. Oh, great game. Great game. Uh, we're really going to have cool. to fight against who watches this one, I think, because I think we both yeah, want to be the ones to yeah, take this. It's going to be a good game. Yeah. Um, my wife. Oh, they've both qualified, okay, because I've looked at Well, well, well we'll come into that in a second, but like, um, oh, actually, I, I, suppose think, it's, it, I, guess I think it matters, you see. Yeah. I think it matters knowing that they've both qualified how this game's yeah. going to go. So, um, but I think Liam's got it. 2 Yeah. One. Yeah. Fair enough. Um, I'm going to go 2 2. Um, I just think these are. I think Al's got the. He's going to have the TV. He's going to have the inducements, and like the team, the headhunters are such a lean team. The fact that they're down on TV, I don't think really matters. Um, so they've got that I, wizard. They've got that other stuff. Alice took too scared to this game. He's got armor seven, and he's got the semi-finals next game, and he's he's, he's going to be running scared and. 
Yeah, I think Liam's got it in a nutshell. No problem at all. all Go, right. Liam. Uh, next up, we've got the Dreamsters versus the Berserkers. Um, I, was it, I think the TVs are not as bad as it could be, but the Berserkers have got, say, they've got a full team, right? Um, yeah, they've got a full team. Um, so it's going to be... Well, it's well, it's 160, so it's a wizard, probably, right? Um, not a good game for you, Matt. Might, he's got a bit of mighty blow, a bit of guard, some frenzy, block everywhere. He's not got tackle. He's not got tackle. He has got the mighty yeah, blow. Yeah, but he's got frenzy, which is a poor man's tackle. Ah, uh, sure. He's got. He's only got two mighty blows, actually. That's not that many. Um, <laughs> yeah, it might be enough. <laughs> he's not. He's not got the bench for fouling. Um. We'll see. Uh, hey, wait a sec. He sacked the uh, he sacked the shadowing dude. I just realised. His oh, favourite yeah. guy with a fend and shadowing. He's gone. Well, he got, he, then we got um, stat broke, didn't he? Uh, did he? I know he got hurt. But, uh, oh, that's knocked his TV down enough to get a wizard. I'd much prefer a wizard than that guy. Yeah, I think I think um, the shadowing person got stat broke. Feel free to comment in the comments about how I'm stupid and I've got that wrong. But, um... Uh-huh. Uh, yeah, like I think I think the wizard is the better call there. Um, there's no one really else you can foul. Uh, foul fire. Um, claw on the yeti obviously means nothing. Uh, well, I guess against blitzes it means something. But um, yeah, I, I'm as a potential uh, team hurter there. It's, it's a potential. T- it could be. It's it's not the biggest potential team herder out of out of the four teams that are qualifying. I've gotten the least painful last match. Even and it, that's not to say I'm not worried. They can still break really bad. But I, if I had a choice between my last match being the Berserkers, the Rippers, or the Looney Tunes, I would pick the Berserkers out of those <laughs> three for sure. Um, so I can't complain too much. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go uh, two one to the Berserkers. I think he's got you. You think he's got me? All right. Um, yeah, I do. I know you're all singing, all dancing team, but I think you're gonna be running scared again. Yeah, I mean, I think I mean, that's true. I don't actually need to win. I don't actually need to win. So it's a case of what the. Um, uh, but, but you know what? Do you know what's really nice in this game? SPP. You know what gets the SPP touchdowns? Yeah. So yeah. like. It gets uh, to the right people. It gets to the right people. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give it, I'm gonna give it to me, uh, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip the score. I'm gonna go two one to the Dreamsters. I think. Oh, I think, I think it's gonna be one one for most of the match, and like then maybe I'm just able to eke out a one turn right at the end for like a last minute. Like, and if we go to, the, if we go to the leaderboards. Yeah, which it's, I've, which I've ruined multiple times. Yeah, I think <laughs> look, every, everyone's invest, everyone's invested in this. Everyone's invested in the league, so I think everyone's been paying attention. I think this is fixed now, right? Um, yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. Even if Barry wins, it will only be on four one four. Um, well, it's not enough. I say it's fixed. Who's making the playoffs is fixed. Um, what yeah. what the matchups are isn't. So, so it's always first versus fourth. Yeah. So can yeah, that can change. Third and fourth can change. Yeah. And first, first and, and second, second change might change as well. Yeah, yeah. feasibly. So yeah. um Yeah, still still a lot of stuff to play for. Um and there's still a lot to play for, not in the playoffs as well, you know. There's a lot of teams gonna be coming back. Um there's a lot of SPP to be gained. So, you know, you've got to be focusing on what what what's gonna be happening for um the next the next season and uh you know even even though you might not be making the playoffs there are still objectives that you can you can try for uh, that's part of your team development so um, i've got to beat phil i've got to finish higher than phil that's my aim now. he's creeping up behind me there one win to beat one win to do it for him one one win and uh if i, if I lose and he wins he he goes above me is that right if you lose and he wins he'll go above you yeah, if yeah. you draw and he wins, then it, the computer decides. Then yeah. the computer decides because of the weirdness. Um, if you win, you're definitely finishing the battle. Right. Um, 
Let's wrap it up. I'll Let's wrap it up. Seven minutes, yeah. All right. We're just about to do it in time. So, yeah. See uh, you live. That's all, folks. Yeah, we will see you on the pitch. <laughs>